Morning fam, it's Tasha, Mom Bear Prepping. So we're about to get into it. You see my paint? I'm gonna paint today. Getting into painting, have so many projects. I have three bedrooms now that my sister moved out that I'm able to fix up and figure out what I'm gonna do um, in those rooms in regards to preparedness and prepping. So super excited about that, but still lots to do to prep the rooms. So let's get into it. Get your drink, pull up, let's talk about it. We are going to talk about um, some comments that I've been receiving lately from um, people on YouTube. You know, uh, I don't, I'm blessed because I don't have a lot of trolls. I don't get troll emails. I don't have a lot of troll comments. My concern is my subscribers who do show a concern on comments about not being able to afford what I'm suggesting, things that I suggest that you get or do or buy. Um, I can't afford this stuff. You know, you're, you're suggesting, you know, we're all made out of money. We're not all made out of money. I'm on a fixed income. I'm on, I'm retired. I'm don't have a job. I'm on food stamps. I'm on assistance. Like I can't do this. I live with roommates. I don't have a job. I live with my parents. Like whatever the excuses are, I, I get them all day long. I get them in comments and DMs and messages and emails. I get them all the time and it's it's disturbing. I get comments um, where to me, it's just negative, right? You will never succeed if you're going to be negative and say, I can't. If you use those words and say, I can't, guess what? You won't. You will not do it. Um, because you've already told yourself that you can't do it and you can do it. And I'm going to talk you through some stuff that you can do today to prepare today. Okay. Whether you can afford $5 a week, $5 a month, or if it's, you have no money, you really, truly, truly have no money left over a month to prepare. I'm going to give you ideas of things you can do. These are things that I would be doing. Okay. We are on fixed incomes, but obviously there's two of us. We make decent money. We're both disabled. So we're, we're okay. Okay. But I understand that other people, when they say fixed income, it truly is a lower number, lower amount of money coming in. I truly understand and do not mean to be insensitive because I truly understand that people are having to juggle stuff, living paycheck to check, trying to figure out how to pay the lights afford gas to get back and forth to work. I understand that rent is going up. Things are going up. Right. And so I understand that struggle of having to try to balance it and figure things out. I understand that. Okay. Um, you know, I grew up on section eight. Okay. I grew up on assisted living, assisted food, all of that. Okay. So I understand if you're coming from a place where you just don't have a lot left over and you're feeling like I can't do this. I would like to do all this fancy stuff and do these things, but there's a lot of stuff you can do for free or li to little to no money. Okay. So we're going to talk through that. Um, I'm going to try to go in order of how I would do this. Okay. If you're starting from, from scratch and hopefully you've got a pen and paper, you're taking notes. Hopefully if you're already prepping and you already kind of have a game plan, you're going to still listen and you're going to listen to what, um, the game plan is because there could be some stuff that you're missing as well. Okay. So number one is, um, set the budget. So obviously you're telling me that you're on a fixed income. You only have a certain amount of money coming in. Listen, that's everybody, whether you have a job or not, you have a set amount of money coming in and therefore you should budget. So one is setting a budget. If you're not on a budget, that tells me already you're messing up. Okay. Um, set a budget, write out all your bills, every single bill that you have a month, write the incoming that's coming in right there. How much do you have left over? Okay. That's your starting point. Maybe you're in the negative at this point. Maybe you're just even and you're like, okay, I already don't have, um, extra money. That's fine. Okay. I want you to write it out so you can physically see there is a lot of people, a lot of people that do not budget. And when I say budget, they do not write it out in front of them to see it in black and white in front of them. That is a huge mental game to being able to be successful at using your money in the proper way. So write out your budget, write it in front of you right now, black and white. How much do you have left over? Write that off to the side if you do. If you don't, then you don't. That's okay. Next step. 
you're going to delete any extra money that's going out. So you're going to take a look at things um, that you're paying for and you're going to figure out, is there anything that you can cut? Now, I realize some people are like, you dummy, there's a recession. I've already done that. I've already gone through and cut through things. But I want to I want to just walk you through some things because a lot of people will say, you know, and I just had another note. A lot of people will say, I don't have any extra money. I don't have money for that. But yet they're buying $200 shoes still. Okay. They're um, got a thousand and one subscriptions apps. Okay. So let me just give you a couple things when I say delete stuff. Do you get coffee? Do you buy coffee? If you buy coffee at all, that's money saved. You can make your own coffee at home. You can even make a, a bougie kind of coffee at home. You can do that at home. Okay. You do not need to do that. Um, eating out. So going to restaurants, eating out at fast food and grabbing food to go. Okay. That will save you money by not doing that. Subscriptions, right? Apps, go through your phone now, open up your apps and unsubscribe to, there's a ton of apps probably in your phone right now. You don't even realize 99 cents here, whatever here, 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 all these subscriptions, delete that, get rid of it. Okay. Um, you don't need that stuff. Okay utilities that you can drop cable cable is a huge one that just is not necessary there's so many other apps that you can do there's even free apps for tv and different things that you can do hey if you're really trying to save screw it i'm not i'm not having netflix i'm not having cable i'm not having anything i'm telling you right now if this was me and i had no money and i want to prep i'm not doing that stuff i'll i'll watch free movies on youtube right? You know how much stuff is free on the internet for you to watch? I'll go to different platforms that are free and go watch movies and stuff that way. Yeah. Do you not ha get to watch movies and do this extra stuff and watch shows? Yeah, absolutely. Maybe it's you have your subscribe to Disney Plus, Hulu, HBO Plus, you know, Netflix. You have all this stuff, right? Maybe it's figuring out which one's your favorite. And that's the one you keep and you get rid of the rest. Maybe it's just get ha rid of half of them, okay? You've got six apps for watching TV. You get rid of half of them, okay? I'm not telling you to just be depressed and just take everything away, but think through what you're doing, okay? Because that $17, $18, $19 $1 that those apps are costing you a month, that adds up, okay? You get rid of two apps, it's $40, okay? So think it through. Think about what you can get rid of subscriptions. Go to your subscriptions on your phone because there's all types of apps you sign up for. And, you know, you signed up under a free trial and, hey, you could you could have turned it off at any time, but you didn't. And now that money is coming out um, every single month. Um, Amazon. Stop ordering Amazon. Right. Um, don't order anything unless it is free delivery, um, free um shipping all that stuff that you know don't do it unless it is free okay um insurance going through the different things that you can change or possibly lower um insurance car insurance that type of thing where can you cut money when that is concerned right some stuff you know you can't get away from it if it's if it's electricity yeah can you try turning off the lights and not using as much electricity and kind of lower it yes of course you can but things are rising already anyway so that stuff's gonna just be there that's gonna be a cost that because of inflation because of what's going on you're going to have to decide um, what, what you're doing and what you're not doing. Right. But there is decisions that you could do to cut back on stuff, to cut back on water, to cut back on electricity. Um, but to me, that's hardcore. But again, it depends how desperate are you to get your hands on even a little bit of money. It does not take that much money, by the way. And I've already walked you through several things you can do to save money. Do you think that I've saved you at least $5 just talking about what I've talked about? Yes. Okay. If you've even gone out once for a sandwich, you have five dollars that's five dollars that you can use every month on prepping right say let's say you go and you get subway sandwiches once a month that's one time that's five dollars that you could have saved on something you get a coffee that's seven eight dollars that you could have used on prepping okay um and pre-made cutting back on your pre-made foods right the pre-made foods is super super expensive okay it's always going to be more money than buying individual ingredients and cooking and making real food that's always going to be your cheaper option okay 
let's go on to the next thing. So what's left after you've dived into your, your budget, you've dived into your bills, you've dived in, you've cut stuff back, you cut subscriptions, you've cut things back that you can. Now what's left? Has that number gone up on the side? Maybe it went from zero to five. Maybe it went to zero to $20 a month now. Okay. I'm not talking big money here. Okay. You absolutely can prep for five, $10, $20 a month. Okay. You can break that down by weekly. You can break it down by, by, um, every two weeks if that's how you get paid. But if you're in a fixed income retirement, something like that, you only get paid once a month. That's fine. Figure out how much you have left over and even half that. Okay. But if you pay your bills and you find that you have $5 left, put that towards prepping. Okay. So what's left? Make a plan and start making lists. So now you are watching free YouTube, free channels, right? That are telling you these lists that you're like, it's impossible to get this stuff. I don't have all this money for this fancy stuff. And you're making lists. You're making your expensive list, your items that are on your expensive list. You're like, maybe it's your dream list, right? What is your um, non-food list of supplies of things that you want? Hey, I want a can or I want a dehydrator. You know, I need... Um, uh, a, a cook stove, right? I need propane. I need butane. Write down that list and then write your food list, right? Um, what are the food items that you want to start getting, right? And you're making a list of, of staple foods, foods that last a very long time that can be spread out that you can buy in bulk and you're making that list of food. Okay. Now, once you have those lists, um, now it becomes what's your ideas. Here's the ideas of how you do this. Um, how much, depending on, do you have $5 a month? Do you have money or do you have nothing? At this point, if you've already done all that stuff and you're still like, I still don't have money. You sitting here like, do this, do this. I still don't have money, Tasha. I'm telling you, you can still do this, okay? If I'm sitting here like you and I just did my budget and I literally do not have $5 extra a month to put some preps okay what how can i how can i get my hands on anything free i have my list in front of me how do i do this okay so free i'm hitting free apps okay i'm hitting marketplace craigslist ebay i'm looking at ads in the newspaper i'm googling i'm looking for the free stuff stuff that people are getting rid of now a lot of this this won't be food per se right but this will be the stuff that's on that non-food list that people are getting rid of camp stoves buckets different things that you can get your hands on for free possibly canners dehydrators jars lids all types of stuff that you can get your hands on for free, okay? There is dedicated YouTube channels of how to prep for free, okay? Start following those channels and seeing those ideas that those folks are doing that are prepping for free with no money, how they do it, how they go about getting free items, okay? So free apps, food banks. I Obviously, I would be, if I'm a mom, and, and I'm trying, it doesn't even matter if I'm, I'm not a mom, I'm a mom. I'm, it's just me and my husband and we're both retired. We're older. I don't care what your situation is. That sounds insensitive, but you can do this. I would be going to food banks. I would go to more than one food bank. If I'm trying to provide for my family, I'm going to a couple food banks. I'm getting my box of food. I'm bringing it home. I'm figuring out what meals I can cook around that box. I'm preserving food in that box. If it's not something that we can eat quickly, I'm going to be figuring out how to preserve and keep that food so that it will last the longest possible. But that's how I would be doing it if I had no money. Next thing is, can you get assistance? Are you not on any kind of assistance, but you're able and you're in a situation where you can? Have you tried to apply for food stamps? I know some people feel some type of way, like, oh no, we, we're eating. We don't really need to ask for that. No, ask for assistance, okay? And two, if you are on food stamps, you are golden. Buy the sales, do the things you need to do to stretch that money as far as you can. But that is good. But what I'm saying is if you're not on WIC, you're not in any kind of assistance program, see what you can get, okay? Especially if you're retired um, and you're making a, a lower amount of money, see what you can get help with, okay? Let's talk about $5 a, a, a week. If you just Google, go. you can go on YouTube, you can Google on Google um, prepping on $5 a week. There is a thousand and one videos, channels that talk about 
budgeting and pr preparing basically prepping on five dollars a week five dollars a week is twenty dollars a month or 25 depending on how many weeks are in the month but you could do this and take that idea of five dollars a week and do five dollars every two weeks or five dollars every month okay you can do and make those videos fit with whatever your money situation is okay but there is a thousand and one videos of how to prep for five dollars a week okay if you have more there's other videos just google what it is you're prepping on twenty dollars a month prepping on twenty dollars every payday payday prepping people that do it on the payday they see how much money they have left over and then they buy certain things figure out what you have left and then come up with a game plan of how to spend it watch videos there is tons of people telling you how to do it lists right build up lists hey five dollars you're gonna spend this week is five dollars on rice however way you want to get that you're gonna get five dollars worth of rice the next week you're gonna get five dollars worth of pasta whatever and you're just gonna keep doing it this week you're gonna five dollars worth of salt whatever some of things are very very cheap and five dollars will get you five things of that item right um some of it is just going to be one bag right do what you can do maybe it's only three cans of whatever the item is for five dollars okay you can do this some other stuff budget friendly foods foods that i might do a video just on budget friendly foods foods that are fairly um cheaper all right cheaper to buy easier to get um and commit and are versatile and can you can you can spread across several different types of meals rice alone i can make a thousand and one ways right and it won't be boring it won't be the same and it's extremely cheap i can get it in bulk and it's a cheap food okay and i'm i would be stockpiling that okay um sales hitting your sales looking at your flyers that come out every tuesday let's say for your local stores what do each of those stores have on sale go to those stores only get the sale items this is what i do weekly just to top off i go and i only get the stuff that's on sale i go to the places that have certain meat on sale i go to the places that have um and get there's certain things there's a store called vons here it's like safeway brand you go there, they have $5 Fridays, Fabulous Fridays or Fabulous Five, whatever. I go there and I, before I go though, I look at the flyer and I see what are the items that they have for $5. Because sometimes it's trash and I don't, I won't go. But sometimes it's it's good stuff. You know, it's a laundry detergent, $5. It's, it's toilet paper, $5. It's food, right? sausage you know the one pound sausage um rolls three for five dollars like extremely good bacon five dollars i wait for the sales for local stores and then i go to that i shop clearance aisles right you go to walmart you go to the clearance aisle yes this is a no food aisle but there's other stuff that's non-food items that are on clearance so hit the clearance aisles at stores hit the sales go to the meat counters at stores and say hey when what day do you put out your discounted meat what what day of the week do you put out the meat that's about to expire where do you keep that in the store is there a certain area that you're always going to put the clearance meat maybe it's not a certain day but there's a certain area and so when you know you go you go and you check that area for the clearance meat okay and you just get it home and you either process it right away or you get it into the freezer right away okay um communicate with your community like that to get things like that for cheaper dollar preps now this is two things this is going to like dollar tree dollar general things like that getting food there and non-prep items there as well a ton of stuff you can get there but dollar prepping in general only going to the store and buying stuff that's a dollar right waiting for sales waiting for pasta to be a dollar waiting for vegetables okay you can get vegetables are definitely under a dollar um waiting till you see certain things on sale right only buying the dollar things okay um does this cut out a lot of food yes but there's a ton of food that will fall under this criteria that it, that you can buy um to stock up okay couponing right only buying stuff around the coupons that come out um, again though don't be buying stuff that you guys wouldn't normally eat you're only buying stuff that you guys are going to actually eat another thing is garage sales i find stuff at garage sales all the time again this is mostly non-food items but canning stuff dehydrators jars lids 
um, garden tools, regular tools, garden, other garden items. Um, there's just a ton of stuff that can be found at garage sales. Sometimes garage sales have free stuff that, hey, get this. Um, but I definitely uh, like a garage sale because you can get used items for preparedness. Um, hitting up, I already mentioned this on the free side, but also for cheaper side, right? You're looking for something, marketplace. Even if you're looking for freeze dried food, let's say, people buy freeze dried food instead of buying it directly from the place, they'll buy it used, older food from other people on marketplace, on eBay, on Craigslist, on all these old school apps that you can go to to get stuff at more discount. People are trying to offload this stuff. It's a recession, people need money. All this gas and bills, people have some of this stuff that they're trying to offload now because they can't, you know, they're trying to make money, okay? So be checking out these places for anything you're trying to get, okay? Um, here's some tips, a bunch of tips. Um, recycle, reuse, right? Reusing your tinfoil, reusing your plastic bags, um, reuse stuff, keeping your plastic containers, right? Your water containers, your different juice jugs. Um, using them for um, preserving food, using them to put water in them, but do not get rid of them. Glass jars that you're buying different things in, do not get rid of them anymore. Reuse them. Um, if you get in the habit of recycle, reuse, then that means you're buying less stuff because you're reusing stuff and you're finding the importance of of it still can be used, right? And therefore you're saving money instead of going out and just continuing to buy stuff that you're just being wasteful with. Um, let's see, buy bulk when you can. I understand that that can be expensive. If you don't have that big amount of money, right, to buy, let's say a 25 pound bag of rice, the price point is gonna be cheaper doing that. But if you don't have that bulk amount of money, then that's okay. Then get the 10 pounders, um, 20 pounders at Walmart, What right? Get the one pounders, two pounders at the dollar, dollar store. Whatever it is that you can do, do that. But if you can get bulk, get bulk when you can. Staples first, right? I said cheap um, staple type foods, rice, beans, pasta, that type of thing. Get that stuff first. Um, sales only, I discussed that already with, hey, you only shop sales. You don't shop anything else. You make your food budget and your, your menu for the week and you cook around what was on sale. That's what we cook around is whatever was on sale that week. Um, know your discounts locally, right? Talking to the meat counter, um, talk, figuring out what stores have sales, like the $5 Friday thing that I told you about. Um, learn how to cook. If you don't know how to cook and you are still buying food in any capacity, uh, restaurants, uh, eating out, getting food delivered, Uber Eats, any of that stuff, that's a total waste of money. If you're learning how to cook and you're cooking at home, you're going to save money, okay? Um, avoid pre-made foods. I already talked about that. Um, five, you know, following different channels that talk about cheap prepping, prepping for cheap, prepping for $5, prepping for $10, all types of different um, channels that are free that you can watch that will teach you how to do this and continue to feed those ideas to you of how to do this with little to no money. And then um, do free prepping. There's so much stuff that's free that you're able to do right now today that has nothing to do with money. Okay. Um, organizing. Nothing uh, is freer than you getting in your pantry and getting your house, organizing drawers, organizing your food pantry, and really getting a sense of what you have. Free to inventory it. Take a piece of paper. How many cans of this do you have? How many cans of this? What meals do you have completed? What else do you need? Then start making your list, your food list I told you before. Start adding to that list of, okay, I'm I need this much spaghetti sauce to feel like I have for six months, okay? I have enough for three months. Whatever, right? Start doing your inventory. That's free, baby. Free. Um, making lists. Free. Watch your videos. Make your list. Nothing is saying you have to do the stuff that me, myself, and other channels are telling you to do. Write it down. Do you understand that there's all types of stuff? I have lists. I have stuff that I still have not bought, haven't done, want to do someday. This is not, you can't just do all this stuff overnight. You can't do this even if you have money to just do it overnight. There's always going to be stuff to do. This is a lifestyle. You have to get used to doing this stuff every single day and it takes time. You cannot just go out and just buy all this stuff, okay? 
just because I'm telling you and giving you suggestions does not mean I expect you to go out and get all the things I just talked about that day, right? Um, catching water free, right? Catching water, um, storing water, costs you nothing to take an old juice container or old water container, fill it with water, costs you nothing, right? Um, just think about the things that you can do for free that are like that, that have to do with preparedness, but don't take money, right? Free buckets. Okay. So buckets, again, a lot of those channels will tell you, you can go to different companies and get free buckets. They'll get rid of them. Some of those companies have gotten smart and they charge now, maybe a dollar, maybe $2, um, but still ends up being cheaper than, um, you buying it for real. Um, some of them, you know, it depends on where you go, right? You know, a bucket that was for pickles, obviously is going to have a smell to it, right? So there's some downfalls to that, but there's absolutely stuff out there that you can use, okay? That you can get your hands on for free, right? If you just ask, you can take those buckets too with a thousand and one ways to use your buckets. Get a couple buckets and um, save them to the side for your emergency toilet system, right? Get a couple buckets for just catching water outside, right? For maybe your garden. It might not even be drink drinking water. Um, figure out where the free stuff is and get your hands on it. Learning skills, free. Internet, free. Get on the internet, learn something, learn a skill, um, make a plan, make a list of stuff you want to learn that has to do with preparedness and just learn it. All types of free training and free videos online to teach you how to do stuff. Okay. Um, getting you know getting books for free people giving away books books for free at garage sales so much in, so much stuff that you can get your hands on for free without spending a dime okay free packing evac bags taking a bag putting some couple clothes in it putting a little some snacks and some water and some you know just your basic evac bag yeah i'm not saying put together some bougie um bug out bag i'm not even a big fan of bug out bags anyway okay um but what i'm saying is cost you nothing to just put a couple things together and have an evacuation bag ready to go in case you had to leave your home quickly right there is a lot of stuff that you can do for little to no money. And so I, you know, I'm sick to death of hearing and I understand it. It's new subscribers that obviously haven't been watching me, um, that are obviously new to the game that I get it. You're stressed. You're overwhelmed. You're like, I can't do this. You know, all the stuff you're telling me to do, I'm stressed out. I don't have the money and they're, they're just panicking. And so I try to just step back and, and think that and not just pounce. Like, how dare you? Like, are, you know, are you lazy? Like you can do this. I'm, but I hoping that with this video, what I got to, across to you is that it is possible. Right. And, uh, you know, I would venture that if, if I, if you watch this whole video and, and you still were like, I still don't have any money, Tasha, to spend on this. I still don't know how I'm going to do this. When I just laid out a ton of free things you can do, then I would say that you need to look really hard at yourself um, because that's something within. If you're still telling yourself you can't, you can't, that's damage from within. You've got to get past that to understand that you can, <laughs> you absolutely can do things, okay? For people that are like, you know, you know, there's disabled preppers. They have channels, okay? It doesn't matter what your ailment is, your situation is. I promise you there's somebody out there that is like you that is doing it. Older people doing it. People on fixed income doing it. Disabled people doing it. People in wheelchairs doing it. People with roommates doing it. People living with their parents doing it. Okay. Yes. Maybe you can't do it on some big, you know, big scale thing, but can you do it? Absolutely. There's people doing it. So find those people to find that motivation and that inspiration that it can be done because it can. These are things that one, there's things on this list that I do myself actually right now. And then there's things that if I did not have any money, they are things that I would employ. I don't go to the food bank right now, right? But if I had no food, I had zero money for prepping and I'm watching what's on the wall, you best believe to make my family survive, I'm going to the food bank, 
And I'm not being so prideful to, to not do that and then not have food on the table because we're going to be in hard, very, very hard times soon. And you need to do everything you can do now to get your hands on what you can get your hands on. And if you do not have food and you have zero money left over, you need to be going to the food bank and getting food. If you are that stretched for cash, if you are that tight on your budget, I should say, you need to be doing the other things, okay? Um, and I would venture that some of these places, if you want to say excuses like, I can't get there, I'm disabled, I'm this, a lot of those places, you give them a call, those organizations, and you give them a call and you say, I'm disabled, I cannot get there, I have nobody that can come get me this. Is there somebody, anybody that could come and bring me a box of food? I would venture that there's people that would do that. If you go to church, ask somebody in your church, can you please go to the food bank and get me some food, please, Right? If you are trying to survive, you will listen to what I'm saying and be creative and stop making excuses. Okay, so that's enough. I'm going to get off my high horse, you guys. I hope that that was motivating for those folks that were looking for some guidance. I would love to hear, especially from seasoned preppers, from any kind of budget preppers, anybody in the subscri subscriber section that does this with little to no money, please, please share your ideas with the group. If you're watching this and you were watching this for ideas, please read through the comments because people share stuff in the comments every day. I learn stuff myself every single day in the comments and there's a lot to be learned. And so let's help each other um, learn how to survive. Okay. And I'll see you guys tomorrow in the next video. Take care. Bye.